so in the previous lecture you saw that we have different uh, like we have time frequency analysis in joint way like short time fourier transform is one of the ways the another way is a uh, wavelet and if we talk about wavelet we can never forget about one of the major uh, wavelet which is called haar wavelet now what is this haar wavelet Uh, there is lot of equations written down here, but we can very simply explain it. Let us take this uh, one-dimensional signal. It can be sound or anything like that. Okay. Let me draw it somewhat ex like that. Okay. now this is the signal what i do is that i chunk this the whole signal into small small pieces of 1 1 seconds one and some something like that okay? and two then three four so in that sense what am i doing is that i am chunking and uh there is one proposition which i want you to understand that the average of this and the average of this uh and if i take the average of this the 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 overall average will lie in the center of average between this and this okay let me take let me try to say what i am trying to say let in 0 to 1 interval the average be a0 let the average from z1 to 2 be a1 and the average from 0 to 2 let this average this big average be a my what i am trying to say is that a lies exactly in exactly in middle of averages of sub intervals so like what i am like let this average be something like this we can we can simply prove it also like what is the average from 0 to 1 just tell me integration 0 to 1 ft dt this is a0 what is a1 it is simply integration of 1 to 2 ft dt what is the complete average the complete average is nothing but integration 0 to 2 ft dt divided by 2 because we have to divide it by the period is it so we can write it from like 0 to 1 plus 1 to 2 and the same thing now this complete thing is nothing but a1 this complete thing is nothing but A sorry a zero. This is nothing but a one divided by two is the complete average. So in a sense, if this average, what I am trying to say is that like if zero to one lies somewhere here, one to two lies somewhere here, the average of, then the complete average will lie somewhere here. Okay, let me draw it above. and in other words this difference this difference this difference this difference is will remain uh, this d and this t so the the difference of the complete interval from 0 to 2 this average will be equidistant from the averages of the sub intervals this is the important understanding which you must be which you must be familiar with or the average is equidistant from the averages of the sub intervals if this is clear then the later journey is very simple okay now so if so now what i do is that i take the average of this complete signal and i write it i just try to represent this whole by its average i take the average of it i move it here. 
I take the average of this signal and I write it here. I take the average of this part, I write it here. I take the average, I write it here. So in that sense, I am writing the signal by its average. So f zero t, I will explain why I have written zero t, is equal to this value, which is a zero times this phi t. Is it right? This phi t same because it is just scale plus a one phi of t minus one plus a two phi of t minus two and so on. So in that sense, I can write any general function, any general function as a zero times m phi of t minus n are you trying to understand what i am trying wh what i am trying to say is that i can write any general function in this form now suppose instead of instead of chunking the function down into pieces of 1 1 seconds if i chunk this function down in the in form of 0.5 0.5 seconds so now i am sampling at this interval also So let I represent this sampling by 0.5 seconds with thread. I will explain you why this is so. Okay. So in that case, in that sense, what will happen? In sense that the central What uh, this this will be? What have what what will happen if I sample at every point five interval? So you observe that this signal now is of a higher resolution. Let me tell it that it is of a resolution one. So now this signal f one t, this higher higher chunked version, is sort of now new a zero times pi of two t. Phi of 2t means compression. This compression of this R V plus a1 times phi of 2 times t minus 0.5. Or if I remove this this bracket t minus 0.5, if I multiply 2 on both sides, it becomes 2t minus 1 plus a2 times phi of 2t minus 2. Or uh, let me write it better as a1 of Zero, e one of one, e one of two, pi of two t minus three. So in that sense, now the higher resolution version. So here, n represents, n is representative of resolution. When I was chunking with one one seconds, it was two to the power zero resolution. So the n was zero. When I was chunking. It with point uh, five seconds. It was two raised to the power. It I was chunking it with two raised to the power minus one or point five seconds. Okay. When I will be chunking it with with further less value, then it will be two raised to the power minus two or point two five. So this n is representative of a resolution. And now what G n means is that whenever I subtract this this Uh, this what we say uh, higher resolution minus lower resolution this will give me something called uh, a wave a, a sort of G N and now now how will this G N look? Let me explain you this this this. Uh, the approximate version will lie exactly the center of the ep uh, this this and this. I told you in the previous proof, so it will be something like this. So if this is something, so in that sense, we can write this stuff. In form of this rep in such representations, like 
this is this is the difference okay this subtract i am subtracting this blue color with this red this red color minus this blue color is what i was writing i can write this stuff in form of wavelets so that gn g0 of t is nothing but uh, b0 times phi of t plus b1 times phi of t minus 1 plus so on because if i am scaling this with 2 then this has to be scaled with 2 that's how it is working so now if you look at the half wave right now the let me take this as the higher resolution signal okay now if i have to convert this higher resolution signal into this lower resolution signal i take this average six uh, average system that i take average of both and write it here 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 and the difference of the this and this and this and this both will be 0.5 and 0.5 you notice they will both will be same i write it here the difference is i write it here a difference okay so in that sense i am what i am doing is that i am uh, converting a higher resolution signal into a lower resolution signal and the difference is so in that sense and also from lower resolution signal and the differences we can construct a higher resolution signal are you getting what i am trying to say in that sense we can move from higher to lower to lower lower and from lower if we have the differences we can move to higher if we have the differences here too we can move to higher and higher in that case that sense we are calling it as multi resolution analysis okay so now if we see what next and you notice this was higher sampled version this is this will have a less lesser sampling or it will be more spaced here if i say it will be zero or something like that okay so in that sense we have dilated this uh, we have what we tell expanded or uh, or uh, that in that sense okay or this the next version was this this version is sort of a decimated and then expanded version okay but now let us not go into those intricacies now but the main thing is that tn plus 1 is actually obtained can be actually obtained if i have an and b so what will i do the first signal will be like uh, if i take this let let i have this this both uh, are a n of i have this something like a n of 0 a n of 1 a n of 2 something like this okay and i have b n also all the differences so what will i do is that the first a n plus 1th value will be or a n plus 1 of 0 will be a n of 0 minus b n and a n plus 1 of 1 will be a n of 0 plus b n of of zero so in that sense what we are doing is that uh, we are we are moving we are trying to find a detailed exprox detailed version from an approximate version by the by subtracting and adding the differences a similar thing is what you observe in an amplifier when uh, you have the sum mode and the difference mode something like that okay uh, so just try to relate it with it you will get what i am trying to say you know we have something um, that uh, that ratio some in this amplifier but let's not get into that but essentially this is what the har wavelet is about so now in the next lecture we will move and look on to what is a filter bank 
I can I can I can I can see that what uh, the summary of what the uh, that this Haar wavelet is. And in filter bank, we will first study what the Haar wavelet, how to represent a Haar wavelet representation. And from Haar representation only we will move. So this Haar wavelet is not ending here; it will be continued in the next lecture. But in in sense, what I am doing is that. I am trying to get the like for example, the signal was suppose 1.5 uh, and 0.5. Then I could have got this 1.5 and 0.5 with writing as 1 plus 0.5 and 1 minus 0.5, or adding this phi t with psi t to get this signal. Are you getting trying to trying to get an intuitive feel? that this is how we are uh, generating so that's all for now